What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, man, it's Mr. Warmack. I'm definitely back in the building. You know what I do. I'm here to give you the old one-two with the video thing, so if you don't like it, you can leave. You ain't hurt my feelings. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Well, some of y'all can. I don't know. Little nasty grams over here. Some of y'all can beat it. But uh, back in the building. Today we're we'll talking about the Supreme Court and the gay marriage thing. And it's not what you think it's going to be. It's not my usual rhetoric where I don't believe in it because of religious yada 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 yada. The Supreme Court already said that uh, gay marriages are okay to go for, and it's um, the individual states have to find a way to do it. What we're talking about now is the gay the uh, gay marriages. The Supreme, they, they, they want, and I can understand this, they want to be in the same equal billing as home, as heterosexual marriages. And this is where the Supreme Court is deeply divided. They're deeply divided because they don't want to, they don't want to change the definition. Me personally, I feel they don't want to change the definition of, of, of marriage. You know, they, they, they're, they're, they're fighting with this one on a personal definition and on a personal level. And what I think is going to happen, but I think they're going to kick this back down to the states as far as the states decide what the definition is. I mean, they, they'll decide if they have to. It's one of those, like, if they'll decide if they have to, they want the states to decide to, like, maybe take the pressure off of them. Now, one thing that was bounced around is, is procreation a determining factor in the changing the way marriages are looked at? Well, as you can tell, homosexuals can't procreate. They can adopt and do other things, but they can't procreate. Well, they can procreate if one of them, or both of them, had sex with, a, with another male. Or, or if lesbians or if the gay men have sex with women. Whether or not, they give me procreation, natural procreation, in mean, marriages, you don't find that in homosexual marriage. Now, is that a determining factor? But the, the ability to produce, not to adapt and inherit to. Now, in the end, we're going to, you know, we're going to do this. We got to do it the right way. Me personally, I don't think you should change. It. Look, if I didn't think you should, you know, let them marry for religious reasons, which hey, it's none of my business. But I don't think you should change the definition of marriage. You know, the debate is whether some gay couples should be, you know, they you know, should be like, like should should Frank and Bob in marriage be? Compared similar similar to you know Dick and Jane's marriage. Well, I think Dick and Jane's marriage. It's, I think it shouldn't because it's not the same marriage. You know, it's it's not like I don't think it is. I, I can compare a heterosexual marriage to another heterosexual marriage. That's good and dandy, but you can't compare a homosexual marriage. That's like you're gonna compare apples and oranges. Now, it's not it's not, it's not the same. The only, the only the similarities is they're all people with heartbeats. That's it. You know? And then you add to the fact that uh, now there's a debate whether uh, same-sex couples can, you know, can hinder their children's development, you know, more than straight couples. And this is going to the Supreme Court. You know, both sides agree to point the negative outcome of some, some you know, of, of same-sex marriages about... Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's like a free point of view. That's, that's what you're trying to say. Like some people have this feeling that like a gay relationship, marriage, can hurt their children's feelings or hurt their children's development. I can see that to a point, but like I said, if, if, if one of my friends had like like two dads or two moms, I mean, to me, it's like he's still my friend. It wouldn't, you know, they gonna they gonna say, "Hey, Bob, you know." Huh? How's, how's your dad and his and his wife? You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess around like that because that's my friend. But uh, now they have some they have they have some prominent studies showing where this does hinder some development in kids, like as far as social development. But from a religious standpoint, people can agree whatever they want to think. I'm going off of the social social development. I'm going off the the social, the social, the way society is going, because the kids still have to function in society. And then to me, I wouldn't make fun of that. That's just me. No. No. I'm on, I'm 
why I'm stopping here because, like I said, I got other things to do. But this is, I want you guys to be alert. And I just jumped a little tinted as far as, you know, the damn marriage thing. All right. Catch you guys later. Peace.